What's up guys, it's Cat Trash Productions 72 and today we have another Ninjago review. So this is the review of 30591 Ninjago Titanium Mini Mech, which is also white, so I'm associating with the character Zane from that series because like the nin last Ninjago the review, I'm not far enough in Ninjago, like as in I'm still watching episodes, I've just been that busy lately, I've not watched any additional ones since the last Ninjago review, which was what, two weeks ago, which is maybe not the best for reviewing Ninjago sets, but yeah, here we are. So quite a cool little build. Um, as for its piece count, I'm not really sure. I don't actually have the um, the um, poly bag for it anymore because I typically, the poly bags for me uh, seem to annoy me. Like you can't really keep or reuse them, so I don't really hang on to them, to be honest, which is probably a regret here. But um, from what I'm reading online, because I decided just to look it up its description. So it contains 77 pieces and um, cover retails in the UK for three three pounds and fifty pence, which is quite cool. About the same as the um, Marvel um, CMF series. So you know, for that budget, Lego recently has quite a few things in it. You know, got quite a lot of decent poly bags. I know there's one or two other Ninjago ones. There's the Lego Friends ones. There's the Lego City, and then of course you got your CMF. So recent in the last sort of year, Lego has definitely been you know catering to people of the smallest budgets, which I think is absolutely amazing. So there isn't like the in like the Turbo Tank that I showed off last week. This is one of those sets. It's what you see is kind of what you get, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I mean it's quite cool. Um, this will be the last Ninjago set for a long while because I actually own this set and the Tournament of Elements, which was the last Ninjago review. So let's get into this mech. So obviously again, it's one of those ones, it's what you see is what you get, but it does have quite a bit of movement as you can see with, we'll start with the legs. So the legs have, you know, they're brick built for the most part, but you know, they've got some hinges that can twirl right round. You've got a little bit of a light piece on one side. And you know, the feet are kind of meant to go down like that. Same with this foot, very good articulation using this kind of unique looking piece here that I'd never ever seen with this weirdest angle I've ever held a Lego set. <laughs> but it's one of those ones and also a unique looking piece like with the ball joint there so try to show you guys that the torso is again for the most part brick built with some technic in there but again this it, there is like technic with the you know joints where the arms are but the rest of it is kind of brick built the arms are quite cool it comes with these kind of retro looking um and these probably are retro actually <laughs> um these ninja swords which i will remove one to show you guys so if i prop him down Oh, I got my stand. This can sometimes will not stand, and it is very annoying. So again, here is the... I have to focus there. There is the sword. You can get a little bit of deep in there. Okay, I have to focus. There you go. Can I get a little bit of detail on the handle, but maybe it didn't pick up too well on the camera. Um, as for the head, the head's kind of just this cheese slope with one of the boy white pieces. Um, oh, I have to focus. So you know, it's quite pretty cool there. And the arms are amazingly good. One design is different from the other. This one is the thicker of the two arms. I'll try and show you that around here from this angle. But yeah, you can see this arm has a lot more clip pieces um, than the other one does. And it's got these kind of cool pieces that look like the parts from airplanes. Or at least the fins from them, the airplane sets being used as the back of his arms, which is quite cool. At the back, again, like, it's not 100% colour match. That's the other thing you'll notice. Like, look. Look closely at them. You will see, like, there's bits that, like, aren't all the same colour, which I actually really like. I think that's kind of a cool thing that they've, um, went and done there. Again, not much to show off at the back. The back is kind of bare bones, if that makes sense. Like, most of the detail is up the front. Again, coming around the side, not too much to show. So that has been my review on the Ninjago Mini Titanium Mini Mech. What's my thoughts on these? Well, I only own this one and I've never actually, from any of the Lego themes actually, I have never ever owned any of the um, big mechs, in fact, ever. So for what it is, it is quite cool, you know, it goes along with the Ninjago stuff. Um, those swords are what, personally, I'm, as far as I know with Ninjago, this must be from one of the newer seasons or newer episodes. Um, perhaps I'm wrong. 
Um, but you know what? The only thing that makes it look in the jungle to me is those swords. But as I progress through the series, I'll probably spot it somewhere. You know, it's very likely that that'll, that'll happen. But you know what? I give this a ten out of ten for what it is. For the price, it's actually quite cool. Because Lego don't really do stuff in the um, you know, that price range anymore. It's more so in the last year or so that they've actually started to do some good things in there that I've noticed. Because it's like you can't. It's like go back to the days where you can actually go and buy a full on Lego set for that price in the Star Wars or Ninjago range for ten pound. I know Ninjago still do it, but Star Wars the most you'll get in that real, in in this kind of. The only thing you get in the um, under £10 price range for Star Wars now is the Micro Fighters. And they're slowly creeping up to the prices that what the Battle Pack used to be at. So that is slowly happening and I don't like it very much. I don't think anybody watching this does. Um, but yeah, enough about me rambling. Really cool set. So what are you guys getting next week? Well, um, next week will be... So, next video will be on a Tuesday. There might be a Friday one. Do not quote me on that. There could be a Friday video this week. I'm not working on Friday, as far as I know. So, high chance that I'll produce one of those. Um, the next guaranteed video, you know, as I've said before, will most likely be on next Tuesday. Which, according to the calendar that I just checked, is the 30th of this month. So, I'll basically be the channel update for December. So, it'll be the final channel update of the year. Um... I'm doing it on the Tuesday because you know my upload days, Tuesday and Friday, that's when I like to do it. Um, I would upload every day if I could, but to me that just doesn't seem possible or logical for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I'll be doing the channel update and that will be our final video or, or final guaranteed video of November. So listen guys, I will see you in either Friday or Tuesday. I don't know which one yet, but yeah, see you in the next video.